I think I would be, I'm a very anxious, paranoid person, and I think I would just want to get it over with. Because I'm not, like, I'm not super athletic, I'm not, I'm not, like, cunning and good with weapons, and so I, and you want to play, like, 007, Goldeneye, I mean, 64, I'd, I'd be, like, the child. When you run out of a weapon and your guy's just like... Oh, it's been so long. Yeah. Yeah. See how far I could get and then just join the team. That's not good. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Hey man, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Kenny from Long Island, New York. What's up? Yeah. Hey. Alright, my question is, each of your four records have their own distinct sound feel depending on the time and state of your band. Now, writing your fifth major record release, what is your creative writing process and how do you think you push the batteries more than you have on the previous four records? Uh, we have a very good answer for this. <laughs> Actually, um, something that we've never done before, uh, ever, in our whole career, and it's really weird actually, uh, because now everyone's trying to come to our town and claim it, and I'm trying to take back their crown. Let me just tell you, we've never recorded in Nashville, and that is our main goal. Woo! We're gonna make the record at home, and, um, and soak up some home vibes, you know? Um, and I'm excited to see how that plays into what we do, because when we made the last record, actually felt like, you know, you could hear that we were living in California in some of those songs, especially when it came time to finish songs like Crazy Girls and stuff like that. Um, so I think more than anything, more than like uh, hit songs or anything like that, I just want people to know that we made it in our hometown that we love so much and that uh, we're really proud of. You know? Yeah, I think, just so you guys know, like, the last record, we never write songs to get, you know, and um, I think like Ain't It Fun and Still Into You were, they were like out of frustration and it would like, that's just where we were at and, and we never thought it would work. So I think, um, I'm not trying to just say this to be like cool art guy, but I think that we really are just trying to follow where we're at in our hearts and, and uh, and we just, we hope you guys like it, but we're not going to try to make something just to please people, you know? Um, so, but we're trying. We're going to make it the best we can. And, and this, honestly, this group for us has been amazing, having all you guys here. And I think for the last, not yeah, for the last nine months, I think we think about Paramore every single day. Um, but seeing all of your faces and being able to sing with you and playing these songs, I think we've reconnected in a really cool way. Firing, so yeah. we're ready. We're ready. Thank you. Hey, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Lauren and I'm from Scotland. Woo! Woo! So, Taylor, I know that you write a lot of songs, but do you ever want to sing them or will you ever sing them? Come on. So, uh, back when Haley first joined our band, um, I, I, I was like, yeah, I can sing. And so like, I, I would sing like high harmonies to Haley, and, and, then, and then this thing called Puberty hit me. Right before our first show. And um, he was like, I can't sing. I, I can't do it. Yeah, but it wasn't even that low. My voice was so high. Yeah, because I remember one time I called Josh, and I was like, Miss Farrow answered the phone, she was like, hello? And I was like, is Taylor there? And she was like, she was like, yeah, hold on. Josh, Taylor's on the phone! I was like, I sound like a guy. Well, I would call my friends and literally be like, like hey, hey, is Wesley there? And you'd be like, hey, Wesley, you have some girls on the phone for you. So anyway, that's so glad I told you that. He um, sing though, he'll just never admit it. Well, ever. it's funny, even last night, I was going over songs with Justin. This is the serious answer. I, I would love to sing one day, but I I started, I just have never done it. So I think if I tried to start right now, I would freak out. You might need to practice when we're making the record or something. Yeah, I don't know. But the only way that I can sing and play guitar is if I do a joke voice. So when I'm teaching like Justin a song that we haven't played, like. I, I will do the craziest voice, and that's the only way that I can sing on pitch and play and like teach him the song. Yeah. So the whole time we're laughing, but it actually is working. <laughs> is weird. I don't know. You guys will probably never hear me sing. Yeah, it'll happen. I'll 
I'll make I'll make sure it happens once. Thank you. Hey. I'm Delaney from Massachusetts. Yeah. All right, so buckle up. Okay. Uh, would you rather have a 10-inch belly button that sways to music, or have accordions for legs, and why? Wait, that sways to music. Yeah. That's ridiculous. It was 3 a.m. Please pardon. Okay. I think honestly, I really want accordions for legs. I just hope that they're really long legs. Well, then I'll do the other one. So on stage, it's just. It's so we could be in a really I'm, cool band together. <laughs> We'd be like Streetlight Manifesto. That's amazing. That would be sick. Thank you. It's good to see you. That would be important question. Yeah. Yes. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Katie. I'm from Australia. Yeah. Woo! I'm sorry about what I said about Benjamin. You should be sorry. <laughs> but hold on. So what's the how's, what's the right way to yeah. do it? What's the right way to eat Vegemite? Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> no. Basically, um, you just gotta go for like a little bit. Like, with toast and like a quarter of a teaspoon. Oh. You guys like put the whole teaspoon in your mouth, and that's not cool. Oh, it was, no, I didn't do it to myself. A person <laughs> came up oh. and assaulted me. Yeah, with assaulted. <laughs> I get it. It's really assaulting. Um, all right, that last question. Funny. Uh, um, that last question was a hard act to follow, but, um, Mascot suit to amp up the crowd. What character would the paramount mascot be, and what song would he dance? All right, that's easy. <laughs> so I, I think I got it. So a gerbil, first of all. Is this like a big guy in a suit? What do you want? Man? It would be a very small, like a, a small dude. I would hope. Like my size. Why has it gotta be a dude? Because, because I because it's funny. Okay. It's funny that there's a dude in a gerbil suit. So he's a gerbil and he's dancing to Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Before Paramore shows. I feel like that sums us up really nice. So do you agree? Yeah, I think that's the best song it could he could dance to. Thank you. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, hey, I'm Bailey. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hello! Woo! <laughs> yes. Uh, my, my question is, if you could have any musician cover a song of yours and put their own spin on it, who would cover what song you would play? Ja Rule. <laughs> Anything you wanted. <laughs> what about you? Okay, wow. Um, <laughs> how, do I, how do I compete with Ja Rule? Um, <laughs> Maybe Pitbull. Um, honestly, I think I would want to hear. Well, I was having, I was listening to Jeff Buckley a lot, just getting ready for us to do Hallelujah. And I think like his voice is just so amazing, and it would be kind of cool to hear him sing in his glorious angel voice something that we wrote that maybe would be a little bit out of character for him. But also, even going back to songs like um, "Hate to See Your Heartbreak" or hearing him sing something really slow, just make it into into like the most magical cry fest of your life, you know? Yeah, all I wanted, just Jeff Buckley on that. Hey, would you guys ever want to hear Haley sing that song? Oh, wow! Interesting. Interesting. If you, we'll do a duet. Hold on, so you, you actually do. <laughs> No better time. If we could do a duet on All I Wanted, then I could do it. Just so you guys know. I've tried. I've tried. I've tried. Uh, it's gonna, it'll happen, it'll happen, it'll do happen. Do it, do it, do it. I need, like, I need, just, oh gosh, I need so much practice to do that. Um, I don't know. You know that I have not sang that fully since we recorded it because I'm so afraid of it. <laughs> it scares the hell out of me. But Jeff Buckley could do it, and he would do it every night on tour for you guys. I know he would. Thank you for that. Thank you.